So this machine was just brought to me to fix. It is pretty beat up. And this is one of these uh, machines that if they had brought it to a uh, mower shop, it would not have been worth fixing just because of all the ancillary shop fees. But in my case, this is a perfect project for me because I do these videos. I don't have to charge somebody a $130 shop fee or whatever it is in order to fix their machine or even look at it. Right off the bat, the uh, two front wheels, they look like they're in okay condition. Treads a little bit more worn off of this one. I already checked it for compression. It has it. The uh, cord here, I'll probably end up replacing this. Here we have a very common issue with these Toros. The cable broke, so they've got it wired up so that it pulls and activates the self-propelled system when you start the machine. So most likely they would be starting it in this position with the front wheels up. Get rid of this just because I'm going to need that disabled to do my checks on it. So it's a little bit better. Good thing is the uh, brake cable seems to work fine. So that's really all we need at this point. Let's see if there's any gas in it. Bone dry. Bag is in really rough condition. They've already given me the go ahead to uh, go ahead and replace that. So a new aftermarket one is $30 off of Amazon. They already gave me the go ahead to replace this cable, which is about $12 off of Amazon for an aftermarket. They seem to be okay. I've had decent luck with them. And to finish this all off, The blade is rusty, the deck underside is dirty and rusty, but I'm not seeing any significant damage outside of normal wear and tear on this blade. So that's a good thing. So I just gave it a bath, noticed another problem. So you guys saw that I undid this. Looks like it's working as it should. You know, there's not really much I can do without it being attached to the actual handle. We may have an issue with the transmission. So I have really good news. Instead of removing the spring, I just did this, got all of the slack off the belt, rocked it back and forth, and it looks like I was able to free it up. So that's some really good news. We don't have to scrap out this whole assembly. They could still have the self repel. The uh, belt still looks like it's in decent shape. All right, so here's how this part of this video is gonna go. We're just gonna get this running and see how good it runs, see if there's any smoking or anything like that. If it does run good, there will be a part two where I replace the cord, replace the drive cable, and replace the bag, as well as any other things that I need to replace. The good news is with this plug, it looks like it's almost brand new. It's in really good condition, so I'm not going to replace that. But we are going to replace this air filter if it needs it. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw a uh, brand new carb on this and uh, see where that gets us. Alright, so all I'm going to do here is just remove the filter box. This air filter isn't bad. Looks like it was just replaced at some point. Let's go ahead and remove these bolts. Pretty dirty, we'll clean that up. And we are gonna have to remove the top cover. So in order to do this, there's just two screws. Where's the other one, there it is. Move that up, spider check, we're good. Now we have access to the choke, which that's not good. So that could just be due to the carburetor all gummed up here. We'll know soon enough. It looks like it's still able to move, but where it's having an issue is right here. So that's why we're replacing the carburetor. Just bolt off. Just let that hang, it ain't going nowhere. We don't have to pinch off the fuel line because there's no fuel on side of anything but we do have to pull the clamp off 
of course. See if we can rock the line. I'll pull this PCV off just to get that out of the way. There we go. Loosened it up. So it's nice and soft, pliable like it should be. A lot of the times when people leave these mowers outside for an extended length of time, especially if there's fuel in it, these harden up. And I've had them so bad where you can just break them in half. That's how hard they get. But this one is still really pliable, so I'm not worried about it. Now let's remove the carburetor. This we need a 3 8 These two bolts out. And then you'll see the little linkage right there. We're just gonna kinda move her around so we can get it off, just like that. Yeah, the uh, choke van is all gummed up, so it's a good thing we're replacing this. You can see how loose the new one is. So we'll just reinstall this linkage. I'm gonna replace this O-ring. Brand new O-ring, brand new filter box gasket. So set that aside. So the O-ring just goes on to the intake, just like that. You guys can see where it is. Just slide that on, carburetor. You can slide the fuel hose back on stick it onto the outlet, or the intake rather. And for these, you don't need to tighten them down all that much. That's probably good because you want them nice and free so everything moves properly. All right, so I got the new gasket on it. Use this little nub right here. You just want to make sure it goes back into the PCV. There we go. So all I'm going to do now is... Uh, just flop that back on top. I'm not even going to screw it in because we're going to have to get back into this anyways. But let's put some gas in it and see what happens. All right, so gas is in it. Spark plug's connected. If I can get it running, what you're going to see me do is pull on this just to see if we can get the self-propelled to turn. Let's see what happens. Run for about five more minutes. 
looks good. Jack port, Jack wash port's on the clock. Yeah, that's what that's got. That was my order. Just wash it, Jack off. I just took it around and did some quick mowing. And that's what that's got. Quite a bit of a good shot. That's a pleasure. Got a bit of a good shot. Got a bit of a good shot. Took it through here, seemed to cut okay. Like I said, blade definitely needs to be sharpened. So I just gotta order some parts, gotta order a new bag, a new uh, drive cable, probably a new belt. And uh, really after that, should be good to go. I'll give it a proper cleaning, but the next video I'm also gonna change the oil on it and change the air filter. For this video, I just wanted to get it running to see if it was worth putting money into for this person and at this point it looks like it is so all in all he should be happy once he gets it back stay tuned for part two